you've got 450 grand to spend and you're in the market for a house. What does 450,000 pounds buy you in South West London where I used to live? And what sort of thing can you pick up for around that money where I live now? In Brazil. Well, I know exactly what you can get in South West London for 450 grand. You can get my old house that I used to own in sunny Tolworth. But I wasn't so sure what you could get here for that sort of money. So I did a bit of digging about on the net and I came up with something that I thought would that'd do the job. That'd be somewhere I could live if I was in the market for a place. I thought a comparison of the two properties might make an interesting little video. So imagine me as your virtual estate agent and let's see what your money would get you back in Tolworth and what you could pick up for the same coin here in Hiberão Preto, Brazil. First up, let's have a look around the gaff in Tolworth. Comfortable three bedroom home in better condition than when I owned it. Located close to the local amenities of Tolworth. A novel feature is the original 1950s pathway meandering up to the front door. The property boasts a generous living room with seating for four dimensionally challenged people or, alternatively, two bigger units. The original rooms have been knocked through creating an open plan that leads through to a separate dining area where you can comfortably seat three should you have a guest round. Upstairs we have the master bedroom with views of the street from the window so you can keep an on your car. There's also a second double bedroom with garden views and frequent glimpses into your surrounding neighbour's lives. Finally, the third bedroom is a single which could be used to house a cat, budgery guard or other family friend. The bathroom has seen a modern makeover, however guests will still have to trek upstairs to relieve themselves in the lone toilet. Heading back downstairs we have a modern galley style kitchen which doubles up as a laundry room so you can stir the soup and wash your clothes at the same time. Perfect for someone who's not too wide in the hip department. To the rear is a landscape garden which is mainly laid to lawn. And a decked area, ideal for barbecues, weather occasionally permitting. There's also a larger than average garage that will house a Fiat 500 car or a couple of push bikes with room to spare. All in all, this cosy home is perfect for one person living alone or a couple of small children whose parents spend most of their time abroad. And now, zip, 11 hour flight, Let's check out the place in Brazil. Four bedroom, 2015 built detached house located in a private gated community with 24 hour security, a leisure area, an event hall and a swimming pool. Coming through the front door, we have a reception area with a table to receive up to five sales people and an area big enough to play football in. There's a fair sized living room with a comfortable TV area and a separate dining space where you could probably seat 12 people happily enough. There's also an integrated gourmet area to knock up a little something without the hassle of having to wander off to the kitchen. And this whole area overlooks the garden and pool through the floor to ceiling glass doors that take up two of the walls. Heading upstairs, we come to the mezzanine with seating for two, should you wish to sit and contemplate the day before bedding down for the night. There are three large ensuite bedrooms on the upper floor, each with a balcony, a walk-in closet rich in cupboards, and a fully fitted bathroom so you'll never share a toilet again. Actually, there's a total of six bathrooms scattered around the place, in keeping with the Brazilian obsession of having a separate toilet for all eventualities. There's a fully air-conditioned gym with three glass walls so you can give it the large to any neighbours that happen to pass by. The planned American-style kitchen has a toilet, pantry and laundry room with an employee locker room for the driver, gardener, butler and maids to put their stuff. There's also access to the covered four-car garage so you can get out the car and enter the house without the sun beating down on you. To finish off our tour, let's nip outside and give the garden a once-over. There's a modest green area leading onto a pool with a double aspect so that small children and non-swimmers don't get into difficulties. The garden area also includes a covered barbecue space for entertaining and even a shaded area to hang your hammock and hide away for a bit. All in all, with a place like this, you can house your entire extended family, adopt several orphans, and have all your mates come and live with you too, and still not bump into anyone for days at a time. Of course, there are other aspects that have got to be taken into consideration when you're comparing the two countries. If you're a fan of the more temperate climate, well, you're gonna be disappointed every time.
So there you have it. That's what your hard-earned cash money is going to get you in Tolworth, South West London, or Hiberon Preto, San Paolo. Yeah, not much in it really. Swings and roundabouts, eh? Nice one. See you later.